2012 should have been a perfect year for Rashida Sarifi and her husband. The then 21-year-old Rashida was pregnant with a baby boy. But the labor and birth of their long-awaited child drastically changed her life. Unfortunately, not in the way she expected. A routine epidural resulted in disaster. After the birth, a life-threatening meningitis flared up. The young mother had to endure six operations because bacteria in her spine were causing dangerous abscesses that were damaging the spinal cord. The shocking diagnosis, paraplegia. It was an absolute shock to me and my family. At first, I didn't even realize I was bound to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. The worst part of it was that due to all the surgeries and the time I had to spend in the hospital, I hardly got to see my newborn son in his first year. I didn't see him learn to walk, and when he actually saw me for the first time, he didn't recognize me as his mother. I was supposed to go to rehab clinic to get used to the wheelchair, but this was out of the question for both me and my family. Through a tip, Rashida found out about the Ambulanticum in Herdeke, Germany. This institution is pushing the envelope in outpatient neurological rehabilitation. The team at Ambulanticum has had great success, even with untreatable patients, in achieving significant improvements in the treatment results. Ambulanticum enjoys this success thanks to an intensive therapy concept employing device and robotically assisted therapy coupled with motivating biofeedback within proven therapy methods. All this is done in close collaboration with the patient and their family members. When Rashida first came to the Ambulanticum three years ago, she was in a wheelchair and had very poor trunk stability. By developing a therapy concept that matched Rashida's therapy goals and capabilities, we managed as a team to get her out of the wheelchair and enable her to lead a self-determined and independent life. Getting there meant demanding a lot from Rashida. We had to push her to her physical limits to reform her musculature and improve her general condition. As soon as we saw real progress during the therapy sessions, things started accelerating and have yet to slow down. The Erigo was primarily used in the beginning for early mobilization in order to regain basic musculature in the lower limbs. This had to happen before we could even start with the complex gait-oriented training. Then, the locomat was the ideal device to practice taking steps with a high repetition rate and no fall risk. With the new Free D module, Rashida was even able to train weight shifting from one leg to the other. The combination with other methods of physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and medical device training proved to be a highly efficient therapy concept. The team at Ambulanticum was unbelievable. Rehabilitating here significantly changed my whole life. After all that I had been through, it was incredible to find a clinic that was committed to my needs and goals. Obviously, the therapy is tiring, but what did I have to lose? When I first saw myself standing upright and walking in the locomat, the feeling was indescribable. In the beginning, I was in the locomat practically every day. Two years later, Rashida's movement pattern was so stable, she was able to walk with crutches. She could even walk a few steps without crutches. Now, to stabilize Rashida's balance and give her the opportunity to undergo truly free gait training, we look to the latest product from the Swiss medical device manufacturer Hokoma, the Andago. In the Andago, Rashida is safeguarded by a body weight support system, but she has to keep herself upright and control the speed, all while keeping her balance. While in the Andago, she can let go of any fear of falling. Andago offers a safe and multifunctional training environment as patients work their way back to independence. Rashida Sarifi, a woman controlling her own destiny. She did not accept the reality of living the rest of her life in a wheelchair. Thanks to support from Ambulanticum and Herdica and modern therapy equipment, today Rashida can walk short distances on her own. She still has a long way to go, but even a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step.